Peter Diamandis, Wikipedia article audio. Peter H. Diamandis is a Greek-American engineer, physician, and entrepreneur best known for being founder and chairman of the X Prize Foundation, co-founder and executive chairman of Singularity University and co-author of the New York Times bestsellers Abundance, The Future is Better Than You Think and Bold, How to Go Big, Create Wealth, and Impact the World. He is former CEO and co-founder of the Zero Gravity Corporation, co-founder and vice chairman of Space Adventures Limited, founder and chairman of the Rocket Racing League, co-founder of the International Space University, co-founder of Planetary Resources, founder of Students for the Exploration and Development of Space, vice chairman and co-founder of Human Longevity, Inc. Early Life Diamandis was born in the Bronx, New York. His parents, both Greek immigrants, were in the medical business. His father was a physician. From a very early age, Diamandis expressed a keen interest in space exploration. At age eight, he began giving lectures on space to his family and friends. At age 12, Diamandis won first place in the Estes rocket design competition for building a launch system able to simultaneously launch three rockets. After graduating from Great Neck North High School in 1979, Diamandis attended Hamilton College for his first year, then transferred to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology to study biology and physics. During his second year at MIT in 1980, Diamandis co-founded Students for the Exploration and Development of Space. Career Diamandis graduated from MIT in 1983 with a B.S. in Molecular Genetics. He then entered Harvard Medical School to pursue his M.D. During his second year of medical school, he co-founded the Space Generation Foundation to promote projects and programs that would help the space generation all those born since the flight of Sputnik get off the planet. International Space University During his last year of medical school in 1989, Diamandis was acting as managing director of the International Space University and CEO of International Microspace a microsatellite launch company. International Microspace, Inc. In 1986, Diamandis put his medical degree on hold and returned to MIT to pursue a master's degree in aeronautics and astronautics, conducting research at NASA Johnson Space Center, the MIT Man Vehicle Laboratory and MIT's Whitehead Biomedical Institute. After completing his M.S. at MIT, Diamandis returned to Harvard completing his M.D. Constellation Communications In 1987, during his third year of medical school, Diamandis co-founded International Space University with Todd Hawley, Walter Anderson, and Robert Richards. Diamandis served as the managing director and chief operating officer of the university until 1989. Today, ESU offers a space studies program and two accredited Master of Space Studies degrees. It has grown into a $30 million university campus headquartered in Strasbourg, France. X Prize Foundation Diamandis co-founded Microsat Launch Systems, later renamed International Microspace Incorporated, in 1989 during his fourth year of medical school and served as the company's CEO. IMI designed a small launcher called Orbital Express for taking 100 kg payloads to low Earth orbit, collaborating with Bristol Aerospace for the manufacture. The company won a $100 million SDIO contract for one launch plus nine options and was sold to CTA Inc. of Rockville, MD in 1993 for $250,000.
Diamandis joined CTA for one year as VP of Commercial Space Programs post-acquisition. In 1991, Diamandis founded Constellation Communications, Inc., one of five low-Earth orbit satellite constellations for voice telephony. The company was funded to deploy an equatorial ring of 10 satellites to provide communications primarily to Brazil and Indonesia. Constellation was sold to E-Systems and Orbital, Diamandis remained director until 1993. Zero Gravity Corporation Angel Technologies Corporation Space Adventures, Ltd. Blastoff Corporation In 1994, Diamandis founded the X Prize Foundation after the failure of International Microspace, Inc. and reading Charles Lindbergh's The Spirit of St. Louis. He serves as chairman and CEO of the foundation. X Prize was created to fund and operate a $10 million incentive competition intended to inspire a new generation of private passenger carrying spaceships. The prize was announced on May 18, 1996, in St. Louis, MO, without any purse money or any teams. The prize was ultimately funded through an insurance policy underwritten by the Anishet and Hamid Ansari family and renamed the Ansari X Prize in their honor. The $10 million competition attracted 26 teams from seven countries as teams and was won on October 4, 2004 by Mojave Aerospace Ventures a team run by famed aviation designer Bert Rutten and funded by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen. The winning vehicle, Spaceship One, was piloted to space twice within two weeks to win the competition. The first flight was made on September 29, 2004, piloted by Mike Melville and the winning second flight was made on October 4. 2004 by pilot Brian Binney. Spaceship One was the world's first non-government piloted spacecraft and is now hanging in the National Air and Space Museum adjacent to the spirit of St. Lewis aircraft. In January 2005, the X Prize Foundation Board of Trustees expanded the focus of the X Prize to address four different group areas exploration, life sciences, energy and environment, and education and global development. Since inception, the foundation has launched the $10 million Ansari X Prize, the $10 million Automotive X Prize, the $10 million Archon X Prize, the $30 million Google Lunar X Prize, the $10 million Qualcomm Tricorder X Prize, the $2 million Lunar Lander Challenge, the $1.4 million Wendy Schmidt Oil Cleanup X Challenge, and the Wendy Schmidt Ocean Health X Prize. In May 2012, the Robin Hood Foundation announced its plans to partner with the X Prize Foundation for several New York-based challenges targeted at eradicating poverty. The X Prize Foundation has a staff of approximately 50 individuals and is headquartered in Culver City, California. It boasts an all-star board of trustees including Larry Page, Elon Musk, James Cameron, Dean Kamen, Ratan Tata, Ray Kurzweil, Jim Giannopoulos, Naveen Jain, Ariana Huffington, Will Wright, and Craig Venter. In 1994, Diamandis co-founded ZEROG with Byron Lichtenberg and Ray Cronus. The space entertainment company offers weightless experiences aboard its FAA-certified Boeing 727 aircraft and provides NASA with parabolic flight services for research, education, and training. The company has flown over 10,000 customers. In 2007, Physicist Stephen Hawking experienced eight rounds of weightlessness on a ZEROG flight. 
Diamandis said that the successful outcome of that flight was proof that everyone can participate in this type of weightless experience. He would recount the experience of taking Dr. Hawking into the upper atmosphere at TED 2008. Between 1995 and 1999, Diamandis was the president of Angel Technologies Corporation, a commercial communications company that develops wireless broadband communications networks. Founded in 1998, Space Adventures is a space tourism company that has flown eight private customer missions to the International Space Station since 2001. Diamandis is the co-founder and vice-chairman of Space Adventures. Ex-Prize Board of Trustees, Planetary Resources, Inc., Singularity University, International Space University, Space Adventures, LTD, Intellius, Rocket Racing League, Cogswell Polytechnical College, Human Longevity Incorporated, Hyperloop Technologies, Students for the Exploration and Development of Space, Abundance 360. Between 2000 and 2001, Diamandis was the CEO of Blastoff Corporation which proposed to fly a private rover mission to land on the moon as a mix of entertainment, internet, and space. The company lost funding and ceased business in 2001. In 2005, Diamandis co-founded the Rocket Racing League. Developed as a cross between indie car racing and rockets, it envisioned enabling the public to enjoy speed, rockets, and competitive spirits. Diamandis remains the chairman of RRL. In 2008, alongside American author, inventor, and futurist Ray Kurzweil, Diamandis co-founded Singularity University. Today Diamandis serves as the university's co-founder and executive chairman. SUA is an interdisciplinary university with the mission to assemble, educate, and inspire a cadre of leaders who strive to understand and facilitate the development of exponentially advancing technologies to address humanity's grand challenges. With the support of a broad range of leaders in academia, business, and government, SU hopes to stimulate groundbreaking, disruptive thinking, and solutions aimed at solving some of the planet's most pressing challenges. SU is based on the NASA Ames campus in Silicon Valley and supported by a number of corporate founders and partners including Google, Autodesk, Cisco, Nokia, Kaufman Foundation, and ePlanet Ventures. The university runs a 10-week graduate studies program a seven-day executive program and a five-day exponential medicine conference. In April 2012, Diamandis co-founded Planetary Resources Incorporated, an organization dedicated to the identification, remote sensing and prospecting of near-Earth approaching asteroids, with Eric Anderson. Billionaire investors include Google's Eric E. Schmidt and Larry Page, as well as Ross Parrott, Jr., and Charles Simonyi. Advisors include filmmaker and explorer James Cameron and several renowned scientists. In March 2014, Diamandis co-founded Human Longevity Incorporated, a genomics and cell therapy-based diagnostic and therapeutic company focused on extending the healthy human lifespan with Craig Venter and Robert Hariri. He also has supported SENS Research Foundation, a non-profit organization that seeks to treat and cure the diseases of aging by repairing the underlying damage caused by aging. In 2012, alongside Stephen Kotler, Diamandis co-authored Abundance, The Future is Better Than You Think. The non-fiction work discusses the potential for exponential technology and three other emerging market forces to significantly raise global standards of living within the next 25 years.
Abundance was well received, it was number two on the New York Times bestseller list and remained on the list for nine weeks. It was number one on the non-fiction bestseller lists of Amazon and Barnes and Noble. At the 2014 Clinton Global Initiative, former U.S. President Bill Clinton recommended abundance to readers as an antidote to negative news. In 2015, again alongside of Stephen Kotler, Diamandis co-authored another New York Times best-selling book, Bold, How to Go Big, Create Wealth, and Impact the World. This non-fiction book provides analysis and instruction for entrepreneurs interested in learning about exponential technologies, moonshot thinking, and crowdsourcing. Best-selling author and established entrepreneur Peter Diamandis released his book Bold along with Stephen Kotler. This is the follow-up to the book Abundance, The Future is Better Than You Think. This is a highly practical book and it provides entrepreneurs with the information and the tools that they need to not only make money but also impact other people's lives as well. This book is split into three, easy to digest sections and is filled with valuable nuggets of information that anyone can use to their advantage. One of the best parts about the book is that it not only features insight from the authors but it also actually has detailed interviews and lessons from other big names so readers can gain as much insight and as many unique points of view as possible. Diamandis serves on the following boards. Diamandis also Rocket Racing League Singularity University Planetary Resources Inc. Human Longevity Inc. Served as CEO of Desktop.tv, a spin-off company from Blastoff. Designed to provide a global peer-to-peer -peer television network for broadcasting unique content to the desktop, served as chairman of Starport.com, an internet channel for space exploration for kids of all ages. The site represents over 20 astronauts and features space heroes, missions, and simulations. Sold to Space.com, co-founded and served as director of the Space Generation Foundation, a non-profit organization established in 1985 to create, in all people born since the advent of the Space Age on October 4, 1957, a sense of identity and awareness that they are born as members of a spacefaring race. The Foundation supports numerous educational and research projects, founded Spacefair in 1983. Spacefair is a national space conference that was hosted by MIT in 1983, 1985, and 1987, was a key subject in the 2007 documentary film. Orphans of Apollo, is the New York Times best-selling author of Abundance The Future is Better Than You Think. Abundance was number one on Amazon and number two on New York Times, is a member of The Skinomists, an ad hoc team of editorial advisors for the tech news and media company, Skinomi. Books Boards Additional Notable Achievements Awards and Recognition Notes Videos